Yeah. It's big old. We ended up at the AT&T store. It was a tree then. Nala, how excited are you? Good. Show them your it's phone. Like purple and it has like it's literally the cutest. Oh, it's so cute. My phone. Jaden's it's upside down. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> it's giving Spider Man. Did I strike out today? I don't you did strike out, but you yeah. struck out swinging hard. Came to Oak and Bean afterwards. What did we get? Like matcha. You like I matcha? I didn't know that, but I really like matcha. Can I try it? I don't know if I've ever had matcha. What kind of matcha is this? I would try it. Raspberry? Oh, no. Now oh. I can't try it. <laughs> Wait, just let me smell it. Nothing. No, you can try it. It's okay. I have a feeling like it's going to be like... Does it taste like grass? No. Okay. It looks like it I ended up getting the jellies, hazy berry no, fruit. Berry. Yeah. Berry. You can add a shot of CBD for three bucks. I should have done that. <laughs> Whatever. Mine's really good. What's add yours? a shot of what? I had a cherry blossom on my day. You it's could add really a good. shot of what? CBD. It's just oh. like a... Oh, that's actually really good. I think it's a... What's happening with me? I think it's a raspberry cold brew. And I'm like ridiculously dehydrated and all I had was this. And I've never had this, but it's pretty good water. <laughs> Look at these manly hands. <laughs> Imagine. Emagin. That was right, though. Emagin. That's good that you liked it then. Ooh. Well, it was uh, so Dora. Hey, you guys liked the Dora live action movie, right? Let me flip this. I'm walking around pretending that it wasn't amazing, right? I know that came out a while ago, but that was such a funny movie. <laughs> like, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Hi, baby mom. Just got back from the movies. We went to go see Spider-Man. I'd never seen the first one, so I wasn't like totally sure, you know, what I was getting myself into. And um, we went to the new Imagine Theater in Batavia, which is just an old... I gotta yell at my kid, sorry. I gotta like compartmentalize for a second because he ate some chips over here earlier. Knew he dropped mad chips on the floor and Lewis was like, just pick them up when you're done. And they're all over the floor. Okay, so we went to the new Imagine Theater, which is really just the old, like it was called Randall 16. Randall 15, then it became. Anyway, whatever. They reopened it. I don't know why it's called Imagine spelled wrong, um, but the people in there did not know what they were doing at all. The guy trying to take the ticket had clearly never, in his, 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 all his years, he had never run a card before. He's doing it, doing it, doing it. And this is not an exaggeration of how quick it was going. And I was like, the, the, the stripe thing, the, the, you know, it's on the other side. I said, you got to flip it. He's like, oh. And then it was backwards the way. Anyway, um, and he didn't know what things cost. We're like, oh, two adults, two kids. Oh, okay, it's, you know, $55. And Lewis was like, and the guy's like, wait. Okay, I'm sorry. So how many tickets do you want? <laughs> I was like, two plus two? That's four. Minus one, that's three. Quick math. Like, what? So anyway, just take that general vibe and apply it to the entire process. Um, and then people, I don't know, they bring you your food to your seat, which I really like. They had heated recliners, which I really like. I really like that in movie theaters. That's all I care about. Am I comfortable and can I take a little nap? Because sometimes I'm there against my will. Can I take a little nappy poo while everybody else enjoys whatever it is that we're watching? Can I take a little nappy poo? If I can, I'm going to be happy camper. If I can't, not a very happy camper. I will still nap, but I will not be, you know, as comfy. But anyway, the movie, I didn't know that it was a... I knew it was animated, but I didn't know that it was like a comic animation type of thing. So it kind of threw me because it was one of those curved screens. And you know when it's just kind of coming at you from all directions and it's like hard to I don't know if y'all I'm sure some of you understand what I'm saying like it's too much to take in and I couldn't pay attention that's why I started to hate watching the Transformers movies because it was like Michael Bay wanted to film everything right here and it was like Michael Bay sir cut it out we can't even uh, none of us know what's going on not to mention these are like pretend things it's not like we recognize an arm and we know who's a freaking mega zord I forgot their names <laughs> whatever you know what i'm saying though okay so i had to get used to that it took a while which is good because that movie was 
long. And then the ending, I was like, this is the end? And then they're like, yeah. Jay's like, don't worry, mom. The next one comes out in 301 days <laughs> or something like that. I was like, all right, cool. <laughs> Good morning, loved ones. Sunday. I'm messing with my hair because I think it's time for me to take these out. I could pay, obviously. I could go to the salon, pay, have, um, have her remove them. You know, give me a little touch up if needed, whatever. But that's looking like... There's no way I'm leaving that salon paying less than like 500 bucks. And <laughs> the way I'm feeling right now is cheap. So um, I think I'm like Ashley's in town. And so I'm like, oh, maybe I'll just go scoop her because you know what? We are brilliant. We are brilliant ladies. And um, a little DIY hair action is certainly not beneath your girl. So um, this is what the growth looks like. And what? It's probably like an inch, right? I can't see it, but it's probably like an inch, right? I was really happy with it. Really happy with the extensions, I think. I mean, the blend job was literally, it was incredible. Like she, she did her thing. Um, but I don't think I want them for the summer. I could definitely see putting them back in, in the fall, maybe with a little bit of a different color, like kind of tone myself down a little bit. Um, so I'm thinking if Ashley's free today, which I'm pretty sure she is, and I'm pretty sure I am too, I'm gonna go ahead and scoop her and see if she wants to come over and play hairstylist for the day. In the meantime, I'm posting this vlog. I just need to like do all the, uh, I need to do the links and then I'm looking for backsplashes for the basement, sink for the basement, fridge for the basement, and my cousin and then, well, so it's my cousin's husband and then my actual, like my cousin's son. So my cousins are in the basement and um, they're working on running the, like line for the water and like drainage for the sink um where you know eventually the cabinets are gonna go in so i'm very excited so that'll be fun i hope i don't know what i'll be able to show you today probably nothing interesting so stay tuned on that but i am trying to now pick out the other little things and since ashley's in town and i very much highly we're right here okay even if we don't have identical tastes we know what the other likes basically so i kind of want to hit up a like floor and decor or something like that and see if she wants to go with me to like pick out a backsplash or something because i really 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 trust her judgment so i want to do that while she's in town and i just man i miss my friend bro like it, she comes in to town and then i'm like no need I, like i don't know how many times i tell her to move back home when she's home i'm like ashley you need to move <laughs> like you need to move right now <laughs> she's like why is, some, is there a spider <laughs> No, move home. My cousin ended up having to replace this whole thing because the one I had, they connected improperly, which was annoying AF, if I'm being honest with you. You love these like giant stains that granite gets. These actually go away, which blows my mind because the first time I saw them, I was like, well, that's there forever. <laughs> Not the case. But he ended up replacing the sink for me, which is amazing because I don't remember if I told you guys, but there was a leak down here. He replaced the whole thing, fixed that for me. And then I went through all of my little cabinets out here. I cleaned them. I know they're not perfect because they're outdoor cabinets, but they were a hot mess before. My little corkies. Cleaned everything, organized it. I'll spare you. This thing down here was absolutely disgusting. I mean, it was a colony living down here. I don't know what was going on, but now it's just like the rotisserie and yada yada. My parents are coming over so that we can use the grill. So... I'm going to give her a good scrub too. Um, I know you guys told me a million times, Sarah, throw away all the things that have the little, the little bristly parts and you'll be happy to know those of you that care and keep berating me about that. And I, you know, I appreciate it. You'll be happy to know they're right there in the trash. So both of these had those little metal bristle things. And, um, I tossed them both out because even though I wasn't using them anymore, when other people would come over, they would use them. And obviously, you know, if the little bits are coming off. So now I use this one, which I got on QVC last year while I was like preparing for surgery or recovering from surgery. It looks like this. It, she ain't much to look at, but she gets the job done. Okay. So <laughs> I use that and my parents said they're going to come over. So they're just going to bring some veggies and stuff. Cause I didn't have any. And I want to use this grill basket for the first time. We're going to make shish kebabs. This is my grill. She needs a good cleaning. Um, cause I'm not the one that cleans her. Also, what is this? Cause I didn't even know this was a thing. And what is this? You see it? 
what the heck is that for? And then, of course, I go to read this. I'm like, oh, let me wipe this off. And look, it wiped the words away. So I have no idea what this says, what it's for, and what I'm supposed to do with it. But I'll figure it out, girl. This is the year of me figuring out my own home. Okay? I'm working on it. My poor snap peas, they were so beautiful, so perfect. I put them on the other deck yesterday, and they died. I'm really, uh, ugh. I don't even want to get into it because I'm actually hurt about that. But another thing he did upstairs, he installed the laundry sink. Look at this, look at this extension saying, <laughs> we're out this mug. He installed laundry sink upstairs. He ran some piping downstairs. I'll spare you. I'm not going to show you that until it actually looks like something. Over here, he installed like a splitter for the hose, which is not, you know, fun. We had one, but it was a double splitter. The yard's so big, you know, we are very blessed. Uh, the yard is large. And in order to water it, which it needs, see, see this, you see that? That is just like four days worth of bird's nest that I have to take down every single day, usually twice a day. But we have so much yard that we need the hose to go everywhere. And me and Lewis would fight for the little, you know, hose thing. So we installed instead of a two splitter, a four splitter, and it's life changing. Pardon this, but it looks like this. And now I can leave the garden hose on, the other hose on. This hose is off. And I just bought one of these little hose like things um, that you just shove in the ground because the one that I have up front is the kind that you like go like this, you know, and it like winds the hose. It takes forever. It's funky. People are living in there. By people, I obviously mean not people, but like insects and nasty stuff. Ew, I was done with it. So we're not, we're not using that anymore, but I got that on Amazon and I just bought another one for the other side of the house. And I just bought an additional soaker hose. So you see all these weeds? I don't know if you can see them. I'm sure you can. We're gonna pull the mulch, lay something better down underneath. Cause we had weed barrier, but it sucked. Lay a better weed barrier down and then try again. Um, I think it's gonna take us years to get rid of those weeds because of what my lot had on it to begin with. It was a serious, heavy, thick patch with tree stumps and all kinds of stuff. That's just what was on my property line. And I could have chosen to bring the fence in and push it outside as it wasn't my property, but I'm gonna get every inch. So I, I paid for it. I'm gonna keep all this yard and I'll just deal with it until it goes away. So it's a process, it's fine. And so far one and a half trees have died. You see that? one dead this one trying 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 to survive or trying to uh i'm trying to revive that one we'll see but i'm gonna water my garden it's looking so good but it's looking very crowded so i want to film or uh, fill the green stalks hopefully tomorrow hopefully tomorrow hopefully tomorrow i can film fill the green stalks and yeah right now my parents are coming over we're gonna make some kebabs and I actually ordered the kids lunch because it's still gonna be a couple hours and Jaden saw that there's a Spider-Verse Whopper. So <laughs> I'll show that to you guys. I think it's red. It's funny looking, but yeah. To clean the deck, but look, we're thriving. Onions, oh, is that a weed? <laughs> eh, eh, eh. Get out of here, my boy. No, leave my onions alone. Brussels sprouts, carrots that don't wanna sprout. Strawberries are doing good. Look at my potatoes. They're killing the game. And then my tomatoes and marigolds. Yada, yada, whatever. We don't need to go through it all. The kale needs to find a new home. My sunflower is finally starting to show its pretty face. And tomatillo plants going crazy. Gonna have to take a bunch of these out. Kale, radishes. Jalapeno plants also going crazy. Gonna take a bunch of these out, put them in the green stock. Lettuce, lettuce, lettuce. And like I said, this kale is Kale's gotta be the easiest thing to grow. So plentiful, ridiculous. Cucumber plants are starting to like, they're starting to be something. So I think I'm gonna take a couple of those out as well. And then two of these broccoli plants are gonna come out, but look at them. They're freaking, look at them. These guys are thriving, but no one's gonna thrive if they're all stuck together like this. So I will be moving a bunch of them. But in the meantime, let's water. I watered last night and it was actually great. I should do that like all the time. I should always water at night. I try not to get the leaves wet. Sometimes I do. See how much they are. Yeah, just get a few. Probably, I would agree. 
Look at this grill, grill master. She doesn't know what she's doing. But she's, she's trying. I know. I, I figure if I just keep using it, at some point I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to stop being, at the very least, afraid of it. I don't feel afraid of it right now. And that is a big step for me. Ooh. Well, we're going to have to pack some of this up for Solomon. And Jay, he can take him for lunch in his little lunch box. Yeah, the back is getting cooked up quick. Uh, I think he's upstairs. He went exercising and all that. All that fun stuff. This is my second to last time doing the parent drop off. Ah, guess where they get out of school tomorrow. All these sunscreens got me breaking out, dog. Heavy. But I have been um, concealing. Concealing, don't feeling every morning. But by like mid-afternoon, you know, it's gone. The concealer's gone. And I'm feeling. <laughs> anyway, we're about to go home. Today we are making popovers. And we are, I think, going to the nursery and filling the green stalks today. I have plenty of plants at the house. But there were a few that I don't have, like spinach and um spinach and i haven't done a garlic and i'm thinking about doing garlic because i'm gonna empty some pots by filling the green stock so uh i don't know do you guys have good experience growing garlic i see a lot of mixed reviews online all right guys and gals i have done some of my little morning chores my parents just popped over because they needed to borrow something and they're at my brother's house but afterwards my mom and i are gonna go to the nursery um which was not planned, but I knew she wanted to go. So this works out perfectly. But what that means is that instead of waiting until after I go to cook the popovers, I'm gonna cook them now and then go to the nursery. So I just wanted to show you guys what it is exactly that you need. It's very, very, very little ingredients. Um, a cup and a half of whole milk. I don't have whole milk. This is 2% Fair Life. I just spit. This is 2% Fair Life lactose free milk. So worked fine yesterday will work fine today four room temperature eggs and the milk should be room temperature too that's why it's sitting out like that and then i think you need like three tablespoons of butter this is obviously like 16 tablespoons whatever you need the butter and then you need parmesan cheese which i'll pull out in a second that did not need to be room temperature and then you need some flour the butter does not need to sit out either it doesn't need to be softened or anything because you're just going to go ahead and melt it but you just start by putting the oven on 425. You let it come up to temperature with your pan, which I'm just gonna be using a muffin pan, like a regular cupcake, you know, a 12, a 12 pan. Put this in the dishwasher, it's got some, <laughs> it's got a little stuff on it. Um, but this is what I'll be using. They just get greased, but you heat the pan up. So once, she says, once the temperature of your oven is preheated to 350, so before it gets to the 425, then you start making the insides and you are just combining eggs milk flour and the salt it's a teaspoon of salt blending it for like 45 seconds and then you're going to add the three tablespoons of melted butter and you're going to add half cup of parmesan cheese and then you blend it like another 10 seconds and then you just pour it in here like you take this pan out of the oven then and you pour it all in and you throw it back in there and i will say that her cook times were totally off for me she says do it 20 minutes at 425 and then drop it to 350 and do it an additional 10 minutes by 425 mine were cooked it was cooked so i think i'm actually going to drop it to 400 i'm going to drop the pan one shelf like lower in the oven and i'm going to see if i can adjust the cook time just a little bit because they were still golden brown delicious whatever um oh and then right before you cook them you add this mixture of this is of course what makes it rosemary <laughs> it's fresh rosemary and coarse sea salt i don't have coarse salt i only have regular pink himalayan salt like regular fine salt um so i do think that changes the experience somewhat i'm gonna go outside and get some more rosemary but it's just uh, it, it's it's just like bits of rosemary with salt and you just sprinkle that on top and it, it's so good so i'm gonna combine this i'll show you guys right now but i just wanted to give you the that's how quick it is like that's how easy it is it's easy peasy lemon squeezy i don't even think i need to get the cookbook out because i literally already remembered i think it's a cup and a third of flour verify it. i'll show you the recipe in a second this is the book these are the popovers just want to give you a steady shot in case you want to screenshot this recipe okay i forgot about the first step where i have to let it heat up um 
I'm gonna do that and I'm just gonna let that heat and I'm gonna make a coffee real quick. But I wanted to show you guys this. Guess what I'm starting? Ah, oh, sorry, don't start her. It's gonna take about two weeks before I can actually use it. I'm on day three, but it's the simplest. It's just so simple to do a sourdough starter. So I started it up and it's looking a little bubbly finally today. It says it's supposed to have like a fruity kind of aromatic scent today. Um, it's just flour and water. Wow. That's so fun. I literally can't wait to make sourdough and to like have it. And this is so funny because we're going on like camping kind of. I'll take you guys with when I go because we're going to the getaway cabins um, next week and I have to take it with me because it needs to be fed every 12 hours for a while here just as I'm getting it started. Um, so I can't leave it at home because it needs to be fed, which just means adding water and flour and discard, like discarding some of it and then adding fresh water and flour. And I'll just take my scale and my flour and like a bottle of water probably. And um, yeah, we're gonna go to these getaway cabins. We're going to the ones that Starved Rock. There are two sets of them, I think, in Illinois, but they're all over the country. And they're so cool because they're like tiny cabins. More on that later. If you were ever interested in the getaway cabins, I will be going next week with uh, my family the kids and stuff so um, I'll show you guys that for sure I've been drinking the liquid IVs because I really really like them I have not worked out in a, about nine days this week I feel like I definitely can probably get back I can feel that there's still a kink there's still something wrong um, this is not like my normal like you know regular everyday kind of back pain or whatever I can tell that I'm still kind of there's still something slightly off so I just haven't wanted to push it because I would rather fully recover than try to like you know do too much too fast and then end up just re-injuring myself anyway so um i have not worked out so i haven't been drinking the liquid ivs because i really only like them when i'm being super duper active now if i am outside all day and i'm doing garden stuff like today um and then going to Nala's game whatever you probably will catch me drinking one but all that to say that i ordered the salud ones which you guys know i didn't i really didn't enjoy them quite as much i think some people who like a lighter flavor are going to prefer these to the liquid ivs either way they're both meant to be super like hydrating they're supposed to essentially make your you know one cup of water equal four cups of water's worth of hydration because they're full of salt right i could be wrong i'm no expert i'm not selling this on you like this is not you know i'm not sponsored i don't have a list of things that i can tell you about it um so anyway, this one has more sugar as well though. So I had purchased these ones and they weren't my favorite. And one of you guys, um, I don't know if you messaged me or if it was a comment on YouTube. I cannot remember, um, but if it was you, thank you. You said to take the horchata flavor, okay, which is like the rice water flavor. I'm sure you're familiar. And you said, because I was talking about how much I like horchata coffee, you said you should put it with your iced coffee. And last night I had a late night coffee and I was like, oh, screw it, I'll put it in there. It was a little chunky, like I had to, you know what I mean? It probably would have behooved me to mix it with the little handheld whisk thing first, um, but I didn't, but it's fine. And I mixed it in, I just did my best with the straw. It tasted good. It wasn't like an ochata coffee that I would have had like out somewhere or whatever, but it was good and it was a good way to drink it, like to consume it because otherwise maybe I wouldn't be reaching for it. So. I just thought I would mention that. Like, feel free to mix them with something other than just water and make it work if you happen to have it, right? Like, I'm trying to really be, like, significantly less waste in this household. And so, I, I like, I had to come up with something and I didn't come up with anything. Y'all did. And it really worked out. So, horchata in your iced coffee. Horchata coffee. It was good. I liked it. Remember when we went to Meyer? I haven't actually tried that Frederick's coffee yet. I just put white chocolate syrup in here. So, I don't know if today's really the best day. Um, but I forgot about it because it was in the back. So I think we'll just do, actually, I had to order a bunch of these. They're super good. They're my favorite oat milk. It's the Nut Pods Barista Oat Milk. This is the cinnamon dolce flavor, but I had to order a bunch of them from Thrive Market because my Thrive Cash, which, like, they let you earn cash. Calm down, crush. It was going to expire, and so I ordered a bunch of them at once, but these, half of them expired in June and half in October, so I'm trying to get through the one, the June ones. Not immediately. Like, I don't care if I miss the day, but you know a little quicker so instead of using my oatly milk we're gonna just put the cinnamon dolce one in there but this frederick's coffee which is the meyer store brand a bunch of you were like it's not it <laughs> i was like okay look at all you midwesterners out here i don't know where you guys are all from you know but i like I, I like knowing there's some local folk um so this is the butterscotch toffee and i'm i'm 
I don't know. I'm a little stressed about it. Butterscotch toffee, I'm not sure. And I made two more jars of jelly because nobody was eating the strawberries or the blackberries and I'm just like so excited. These ones are pretty thin. Um, and one of you told me instead of using pectin if I didn't want to go get it or I didn't have it, which I don't, you said to just put a piece of a green apple in there, which I also don't have a green apple, but I like that idea because it's like one less thing that's like super artificial, you know what I mean? I don't know what pectin is exactly, but I know that I can't buy it in the fruit aisle. And that's what I want in, in the jelly. <laughs> I want things that I could buy in a produce aisle or grow outside. <laughs> What are they talking about this is oh actually wait a second there's an aftertaste there there's a slight aftertaste still good enough for your girl now while i'm waiting i am going to feed my starter so this is a king arthur baking school book and this is the one that i have um the starter recipe thing from and it shows you obviously a million different ways to do everything i've talked about this multiple times so i won't get into it but it's not just a cookbook it's a it's almost like the like you're taking the king arthur baking school courses um so there's a lot of extra information there's a lot of here's what you're doing and why you're doing it here's what's going to happen here's what's wrong here's when you might need to just start over here's the methods yada yada and here's what we've like perfected essentially so this is what it looks like and this is just a single page and it has the first um, 14 days so I'm just gonna show this to you in case once again if you wanted to like screenshot this feel free I mean they might have this information online I don't know but just in case it is very simple well my battery died lucky me anyway I put the other 50 in there and now I'm just gonna mix it this is not a tutorial on how to do a sourdough starter this is me trying to figure it out <laughs> for the first time. I'll let you know how it goes. But I have these visions, okay, of like, not a vision, but like I, ha I can see myself for the holidays like creating gift baskets of sourdough bread and, and, and jelly and like cookies and um, what was the other thing? Ashley told me to start a loofah pale plant. I was like, heck yeah, I'll grow my own loofah and then I'll gift it to people. <laughs> Like, I just, I see, I see that. There was something else. I don't remember what the other stuff was, but you know, just nice homemade gifts, just like thoughtful stuff for people instead of just constantly buying every new thing all the time and just worrying about how much things cost and what's the most amazing and et cetera, et cetera. We're moving into a new phase here. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. All right, now the popovers. So you start with milk, flour, egg, salt, milk, one and a half. I only put the thing on there because we have cats and I don't want any hair to get in here. If you have cats or pets, the hair is everywhere. I need a flower container. Yeah, I'm sure I have one. I need to just find one. Room temperature eggs. And I'm hoping today to go to a farm and actually get some um, local, like, you know, fresh eggs. I'll see if my mom wants to go. I'm sure she will. I feel like it would be good with pepper in there too. Should I put a little pepper in there? Nah, we'll leave it. We'll just do the salt. Anyway, she says the more air, the better. So I tend to go a little more towards the 45 than the 30 seconds. I definitely feel like I don't have, you know, the best blender ever. And it definitely gets up on the sides, the flour. Um, so when I open it to add the butter, I just scrape the sides a little bit. And I find that that's perfectly fine. And then you do your half cup of Parmesan cheese. I got the one from Costco. And we're just gonna do a half cup of that. So here she is. The pan is hot because it was in the oven while it preheated and we're just gonna spray it with an olive oil spray. I feel like there's like no freaking dishes because you're just gonna now pour it from this into your little pan. So like the only issue is that this is coarse like table salt. I mean, this is table salt instead of coarse sea salt, so I do feel like it, it I do feel like it changes things a little bit, but probably not enough. Um, Flavor-wise, it's still basically gonna be the same. Okay, and now the tray has cooled down so I can just handle it. And I'm gonna put it on the lower shelf this time and see if it cooks any slower down here because like I said, at this point it says go 20 minutes, but if I go 20 minutes, it's, it's kind of a lot, so. You don't want to open it either um, because that can kind of mess up them, you know, popping and puffing up. So I'm going to go 15 minutes at 425 and see, see how that goes. Okay. So uh, this is after 15 minutes at 425. Like I said, yesterday I did 
20 minutes at 425 and they were super brown and they were on the top shelf. Um, so I just dropped it down to 350 for 10 minutes. Uh, I highly doubt we'll make it 10 minutes. I am guessing maximum we're making it maybe five. But you can see they're popping out of the pan now. But some of them have that little hole in the center, which I don't like. Most of them don't. And I'm wondering if that's just like a little pool of oil or um, probably oil. But a lot of them don't. Yesterday, more of them had that. So I feel like I'm getting better. All right, I'm calling it. I can't keep these things in there any longer. I'm afraid they're gonna start to burn because they're getting really brown. So let's go ahead and take them out. They have five minutes left, which means they only cooked for 20 minutes in the second half there. Oh, just the last five minutes, I did it at 350 instead of 425. I think overall, I should just bring it down to 400 and then go from there. We'll, we'll see. Hey there, crashy crash. These are like bread popovers or? Yeah. Like the kind you get when you go to Fogo. Oh. Mm. They're oh <laughs> ridiculously good. I made them yesterday and oh. um, me and Ashley. Is that in that book? It's in the Magnolia one. Oh. It smells like egg is in there. I know, right? Can't you smell it? That's crazy, egg. guys, because there are four eggs in there. Oh. <laughs> it, it, you make it in the blender. So it takes wow. like literally like three minutes to make. Yeah, they're so good. Like, they just need like a couple minutes to chill. But, they're so good. Ah, I'm excited. So they pop out and then they they, they pop back in. <laughs> and here they are, inside of a glass bowl because I don't have any adorable little baskets. Look at that. Just pretty they're so good. You got, a, you got a pretty bread bag, uh, towel. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just a new towel. It does make your house smell like eggs and mm. something else. They're really good. All right. They're delicious. All right. Yeah. It's so easy to find stuff. We're at the greenhouse. My mom's buying things she doesn't need, including exactly. stealing feathers. <laughs> um, I mean leaves. I'm gonna do the homemade pickles too. Did you get this one? The homemade pickles? I did not get them. Oh, some of them only have one in there. What a rip off. I know, at least two. For $3. Yeah, I'm excited. I think I can do better than that. Oh, he's a thick, he's a thick boy. He's a thick boy, Troy. There we go. We're gonna do you. I know. Pickling cucumber. So I'm gonna fill my things today, which means that I need to have, um, actually I have mine. <laughs> mine are over here. So this is my container of green. I know. Oh. <laughs> And I think I'll fill this one as well. I have like 60 containers. I know. Oh, and then they have the leafy stuff outside. I'm gonna have to go out there. I'm buying them really little and I'm just gonna hope for the best. I'm just gonna go a little bit overboard this year and then hope that some stuff is very, you know, really does its thing. I've never seen this in my life. Mexican sour gherkin cucumber. <gasps> I do love the Mexican um, like squash. I don't know what they're called. Like the little baby zucchinis. I never see them literally anywhere except the Mexican store. I'm sure they sell them other places, but that's the only places I've ever seen them. Having a great time. <laughs> Just walking around the greenhouse. We're at Schaefer's greenhouse and it's massive. Like they have so many things. They have a billion flowers and everything else. We're obviously just in this one little section. Um, but I don't think I need all of these. It's just that I have so many, I have so many slots in that thing that I really want to it up and right now I just have a million peppers at home but you know I want to be able to like walk outside this is my vision right like again with the visions I'm not having visions it's not giving raven I'm not having visions um I just want to be able to go outside and like decide what am I gonna eat today what do I want to make for dinner what do I want to use like I'm, I'm really leaning into this kind of sector of life and really enjoying it and trying to enjoy the weather and being outside and stuff and it's such a mood booster so I gotta do it. I need to avoid the tomatoes too, because I know I'm just gonna have a million tomatoes on my hands. Or, you know, like Lord willing, I'm gonna have a million tomatoes on my hands, and it's gonna be great. I'm gonna be very excited about that. Hopefully that's what happens. Have you ever seen more adorable little tiny <laughs> peppers? They're so cute. My mom just bought a poblano one. Kinda looks like that, but hers has even more. What's this one? Another pepper plant. Wow. You guys are so cute. Oh my gosh. Should I get another tomato plant? Is there ever really enough tomatoes? I feel like no. Okay, so that, 
It's good to know. We were talking about we're not the best on herbs. <laughs> yeah, my herbs did okay last year, but. Well, the forecast did not call for rain, but it is starting to rain and I just undid my whole freaking green stalk. So let me just show it to you really quick before I gotta run inside. Yes, this is what it looks like. So it's just a bunch of layers of these and you just fill it with dirt and plant, you know, one thing per, and then they end up all getting stacked up. Um, and in between them, you have these, which will fill with water. You see the little holes. They will then disperse the water onto their respective you know, one. <laughs> and um, this goes on the very top. I did buy the lid. It was a few bucks extra, maybe like 10 or 12 bucks extra. This just fills with water. This is what's at the very top. And then it goes down, 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 layer by layer. And that's how it works. And then I did also buy the uh, spinner, like wheel thing. So I didn't pop the wheels on yet, but this will spin as you see. And that's what I'm gonna keep it on just so I can rotate it. Um, okay, I didn't anticipate this. so. I'm gonna leave these plants out here. We're just gonna shove them over a little bit. Uh, I would actually keep them in the house, except that they have some bugs and stuff on them and I don't wanna start that freaking problem. All right, I'm gonna take that inside and I guess I'll come back. I don't know when I'm gonna do this now. I mean, nuts. It wasn't supposed to rain, guys. I mean, I love the rain. It's great, it's wonderful, but dang it. Just bad timing for me personally, but that's okay. I don't control the rain. The kids last parent drop off. Allow me to mourn, <laughs> mourn all the time. I'll be no longer wasting this freaking pickup line. Okay, so well, actually, I guess I still have to do the pickup later. But today's a new day. I'm gonna make the popovers again. I know, Sarah, stop it. Uh, actually, you might not be saying that, but this is my third go in three days because. Yesterday's were more eggy and less airy. The first days were more airy. And so I know that it's me messing with this temperature that's causing this little difference. Okay, I'm filling the, the second green stalk. That's the other one. And look at this giant friend we have. Sir. Sir, the plants are over here. If you don't come pollinate this flower, Let's go, let's go, sir. Yeah, I'm trying to plant the heavy stuff on the bottom and then they do have this like catching thing like for things that need to sit on something like a melon. Um, I didn't order them because I really had no idea what I was gonna plant and I didn't wanna like go too crazy because these were, they're not, they weren't cheap, but honestly, I feel like if you plan on like planting on a deck, um, you know, if these work, which they seem to work for a lot of people, I think they're, they're very similar in, in price at the end of the day to getting a bunch of pots with spinners and stuff. So yeah, um, hopefully they work out for us. Little bumblebee, sir. That's what that is, right? Or is that like a what? I, I don't know what it is. It doesn't look like a traditional bumblebee. One of you is gonna be like, that's the African deadly stinking bee. You're so lucky you're alive. It's not luck, y'all. God wants me to be alive. <laughs> Girl, where do I even start? It's nine o'clock. Where do I even start? I mean, where the should I? Okay. Anyway, so nine o'clock. I came out here. It's five. It's two. It's five o'clock. It's two thirty right now. I have to go hop in the shower. I'm not gonna be able to get the kids. I've been out here all day because I did finish filling the green stalk. I'm sorry. I'm sitting right by the freaking thing. Whew, I'm tired, but I also ended up cleaning the entire deck. I got to show you what I did. I, it's just going to be a really quick overview, but what I was actually going to show you, because I thought this was interesting, or it would be interesting to at least look back on. Hang on. There's some old crusty potatoes that I left in my pantry. This is full of potatoes. I just covered it and they should shoot out again. So I've covered it like five times. We're pretty much at the top, but not quite. This is what I started with though. This is exactly what it was. It's the same bag. It just had like almost no dirt in it. I'm going to go ahead and throw all these potatoes in here and then we're gonna start growing this one up and it'll be about six weeks behind that one um so i'm hoping there's a gonna be a good amount of potatoes on there and then i'm hoping that this one will you know produce just right after that and here are the green stalks so i mean i had to rearrange everything i did move some of the chairs so i moved two of the chairs up there and then i shifted the uh table the other direction anyway so i filled them um a bunch of stuff was from the nursery. I have stuff that's going from seed. We'll see like corn and 
uh, cilantro. That was from seed like a while ago, and I would be shocked if that actually did anything. And then it's such a hot day. These guys that have been like basically yeah, propagated, right? Because I thinned out heavily my little um, pepper plants over here. I just did it. So there was probably... 10 times as much and you know what's funny is i didn't thin these ones out the habaneros because i didn't need to really i mean they're so tiny but just in one day from removing the broccoli there were two other broccoli and removing a bunch of the cayennes and the serranos these things like doubled in size from yesterday and they were completely stunted like they were not growing at all so i definitely think that they were a little crowded i mean they're still crowded but that's because I don't know if any of these are really going to be viable now that I redid them. But we'll see. And I try to only get stuff I really wanted. Like, there's one eggplant plant because I don't really like eggplant that much. Like, if it grows, wonderful. And then the bottom of these ones have melons. So, um, the bottom of this has cantaloupe, honeydew, and watermelon sugar babies. And then um, over here we have watermelon from seed and we have turnips. No, we have turnips from seed and then we have watermelons. And this is hilarious to me. Absolutely hilarious. This came and was born at the exact same time as this. So obviously where you're growing things makes a huge difference. And it's just been so interesting to me to like see the differences. Um, but if you don't know what a freaking, uh, what are these called? Green stalk is, it'll spin cause it has a base and it shoots the additional water out the side from a little tube. And up here is just a big water reservoir. So this is just empty and then it feeds down and then it drips into each individual one. Um, and you can see right here, that's like the little tray in there. And so that would drip in, but I'm still gonna keep an eye on watering every individual one. And then every day you can spin it probably like, um, I would probably do like a quarter spin every single day just to make sure everyone's getting, you know, an equal amount of sun. I'm absolutely disgusting right now. You have no idea. And um, I just wanna get these potatoes in. The last thing I'm gonna do is go around with these little sticks and everybody that needs a hand is gonna get a hand. So everybody that needs help standing up um, through the wind, through whatever, it is pretty windy today, I'm gonna give them a hand, but I can't do that right now. So maybe maybe this evening I'll do it. I'll come back out and do it. Cause that shouldn't be too messy. Um, but I can't, I can't keep being this disgusting monster that I am right now. I keep touching my hair with my hand too. Ma'am, ew. Finished at the orthodontist. I had a quick trip to Burger King because the other day Jaden, Asked for the Whopper, and Jaden, you're not gonna unwrap it. I'm literally waiting for you to unwrap it. So we came for the Spider Verse Whopper, and um, last time, yeah, they didn't give it to us. Uh oh, it's it's feeling very promising. Yeah, it's very red. Yeah, it is very red. It it's it's a it's a bright red Whopper. That's dope, man. I know. I mean, that's fun. Yeah, I'm feeding my kids the most nutritious meal I could think of. And I don't know how we ended up with so many Whoppers. We did not order all these. So I don't know what the heck is going on. But I know that I really need an iced coffee. And I've never had Burger King's iced coffee. So um, the kids didn't really need drinks. So I just switched one out for an iced coffee. And then we couldn't get away from this one. And uh, I'm assuming this is a small. <laughs> Gonna go drop Nolly Polly off at her friend's house. She's so excited. Mm -hmm. First day summer. Not really though because they had school today, but tomorrow's the first day of summer, but today they have plans. So we love that. I think I got a little burnt, a little burny. But not too bad. I kept reapplying sunscreen. So anyway, okay, I'm gonna drive. I just thought I'd show you guys the Spider-Verse Whopper. It's a little bit different because it has Swiss cheese as opposed to whatever a normal Whopper has. I don't even know that it, I don't think a normal Whopper has cheese. So this one has Swiss cheese and then it's like black sesame seeds. Red bun. I don't, and red bun. Anyway, exciting times.